DM us right away after baby. <laughs> What's going on guys? Once again, welcome to another episode, episode 4 of the Positive Guys with myself, Fortunato. Hater. <laughs> and Luca. Guys, today we're just going to shoot the shit, talk topics, and just let everything out on the table. What we feel uh, is really needed in this world to be, you know, put out there and talked about. And, uh, you know, especially where our two hosts here, two hosts actually, Hater and Luca, uh, there's a lot to talk about. Guys, <coughs> take it away. First of all. Well, what we want to talk about is how we're having a problem <laughs> with our current mic. It's been fucking like for two hours we've been fucking oh dealing with this God. mic. Two hours. If there's any sound person who would like to uh, <laughs> DM us right away after this episode comes out. Fortunato was freaking out. He's like, he's like, oh my god, dude, I'm freaking out. I want to get this recorded. I want to get this recorded. We're, I gotta we're, get out there, bro. We're, we're recording this. We're, we're, we're trying to set this I up. Got, I, I know nothing hours. about technology, by the way. I two hours, inputs, outputs, decibels, and shit. Nothing about technology. Oh my god, whatever. But we're going to figure it out for the next yeah. episode. First. Oh, okay. As the episodes progress, you know, it gets better and better. Yeah. Technology gets better and better. Fortunato learns more about technology. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, guys, I want to talk to you guys all about something because this week was a kind of a tough week for me. It was a lot of shit going down, a lot of you know big stuff happening, especially when it comes to you know with my foundation, a lot of projects going down. And a lot of times when I put something out on the table, a project out on the table, it doesn't work out. It usually works out in a totally different way. It succeeds, but I pass a lot of obstacles in the way. Yeah. So I wanted this to put it out there for anybody you know listening is obstacles are the biggest biggest thing that's in your way and they're the biggest brick walls in your way but if you know how to pass them and to overcome them success is just around the corner 100 percent. and you know what i made a i don't know if you saw you know what i'm gonna slide we'll slide this around yeah sure i'm going to talk you just go ahead hit me <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah no i think obstacles are like like you know I, I made the instagram story the other day on like how you can't let anything get in your way and how failure it's super important for success. Dude. It's like, it's one of the most important things. You'll never get to where you are without failing, or yeah. without passing obstacles. And yeah. it's that, it's those opportunities and those obstacles that that uh, create development for growth. And you know, uh, yeah. it's that's that's really it. it. It's so like, you know, what people think, you'll just, it's just, to become successful, you just have to work fucking hard, but there's so many obstacles that are gonna come in your way. So many people that are gonna get in the way. Then that, that's the thing. I feel like a lot of times the first thing that happens to someone, like the first obstacle they hit, they automatically quit their goal. Yeah, exactly. And that's so like, yeah, a hundred percent. Like I remember this is like for me when I when I used to skateboard. When I used to skateboard, bro. Yeah, I swear that right? first that first like fall and it's like <laughs> Okay, I'm done. I remember I I, I I was like off a three foot drop, bro. My my skateboard went right in my balls. Like oh, straight up. I and it, <laughs> it hurts so much. But like, I never gave up. Those are the obstacles, you know? You gotta, like, when so you, you love learn. something, you don't give a shit if your foot's broken. You're gonna get back up and do it. And Keep you don't care. It. Yeah, you don't give a crap. We were talking about that, actually. Uh, you were talking about that, like, last time. Like, you were saying, like, how he started his YouTube thing off. Like, you know, because yeah. Luke yeah. used to make videos and stuff. And how, like, like there was sometimes, like, you know, you focus on views and one video wouldn't do so good. Yeah. But you just wouldn't give up. You know, it came to yeah. a point where, like, you change your ideas. But like you just wouldn't give up no matter how many views you would get just because yeah. you liked it to do it right yeah it, 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 i enjoyed it it was my passion but then i had to like conclude and like come to a conclusion where like it's it's not working something has to change something new has to be something new because exactly. like, vlogs and all this is gonna work yeah and especially i'm not that popular i'm not a kardashian <laughs> so and I, like he passed like, a lot of shit yeah, yeah he passed a lot and of shit. like challenges are like daily things like not only like when you're trying to like when you're like your challenge, like, let's say you're doing a delivery yeah. and you can't find your keys exactly. for your car. That's a challenge. Like, it's not like, it doesn't have to be like a big challenge where like, like $40,000, like it's not this big situation. Exactly. It's like, it could be these small things that just like make it so big, make it yeah. so big. And that's like, that's the huge, the biggest thing. Don't let the small things affect, like uh, affect you in a big way. And like, when it, whenever you hear like something like, well, hear obstacles, you hear failures and you hear mistakes most of the time and those are two like big sources of like obstacles yeah. is mistakes and failures you know what's crazy like how you guys know but like every single week like this past month i've gone in the flat yeah and it's yeah. like we it's always the talk same about, yeah, that's exact exactly. thing that we always always talk about you know i shouldn't be driving right now i should be like super depressed about my car and like put you it away in the garage and, like, yeah yeah keep like but put it in the drive. garage but i keep driving it you know i get a flat all the time i don't know what it is i had a leakage in my rim, rims or something but it's in like in all of them 
I kept getting a flat every week, but I never gave up on that car, you know? I love that car, and I don't let the little things fucking stress me out. That's the know? biggest thing. That's it. Like, like, yeah, fuck it. I'm, 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 it's super dangerous. I'm on the side of the highway, and, like, you know, my car stopped, and my car's not rolling, and I have a flat. But, you know, like, it's happened so many times, and I could have taken it in such, like, such a bad way, but I always take it keep in a positive going. way, you know? And keep going forward. Keep moving yeah. forward. I think that's super important. And just, just don't let the little things stress you out. Yeah, just imagine that on life, though, like, on a scale of life. Like, imagine, like, he's, he's still driving with his car, that, you know, sometimes, like, not sometimes, like, once every week, it's a routine thing that it, it, something goes wrong. Yeah. And he's even expecting that thing to go wrong. But imagine when you're like when you're living life perfectly, like sometimes like something's going so right for me, and at the end of the day, something can just like click and go bad. No, no. And it, it could be anything. Like exactly. small things. It's like, just how you handle it. Things. It's just how you handle it. Yeah. Yeah. You could stub your toe and make the biggest deal out of it, or yeah. you could stub your toe and just keep walking. But that's the problem with a lot of, especially our youth. Like our youth, especially. You know, like we talked about this a lot of times when it comes to school and stuff like that. But like you know, it's 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 such a big stress because I remember like with myself getting myself going for my foundation and stuff. I got like refused like seven times, eight times my idea. Yeah. I understand it. I think it was just a constant thing of just believing in what you have, believing in your goal and believing that at the end of the day, you're going to succeed in yeah. something. Mm -hmm. So no matter how many times you fail at it, you're going to succeed at a point. And yeah. once you succeed, mistakes and obstacles are going to start coming in again. And also when you put that psychological like uh, blockage in your head that, fuck man, nothing's going right. It's not oh, good. It's the worst thing. Like, like, you know, like, oh, fuck, I got refused again. Like, you know what? Fuck it. It's, it's not the time. I'm telling you, man, your negative thoughts, they have a huge impact on your psychological behavior and what you do every single day. So that's why I always preach positivity because you can, like the worst shit in the world can happen to you, but if you're a positive person and you look at everything in a positive way, I swear, man, you'll, you'll, you'll still be in there and you'll still move forward, you know? Exactly. And when we block ourselves with negativity, that's how I was. When I was depressed, I was like, fuck, you know, I'm depressed. I feel like shit, I'm never gonna go anywhere, nothing like that. And then now it's like every day I wake up, yeah, I'm sad. Yeah, I have things going on, you know, in my life, but I wake up positive. More positive than the last day. Exactly. exactly. And it, it helps me get through the day. And there's no right time for something. There's no, oh, I'm going to wait for the right time. There is no right time. That's exactly. Every time, like every, the time keeps going. Time ticks, everything. Yeah. Like whether you're waiting for the time or not, someone's going to do it before you. There you go. And while you're like, as some people say, partying and having fun. Yeah. And <laughs> being entrepreneurs. There you go. That's the, that's the biggest thing. But I, I, one thing that happened to us on Saturday, which was really, really funny when I was with Luca, we went to Ikea and we bought this table actually, okay? And like everything was going so fine. Like as you can see, like we really like, we took like a lot of time like take, picking the stuff of what we wanted. We wanted to kind of like to have the best decoration. And the contrast. But when, yeah, but when like we, when we bought the table and like we actually, like Luca was building it in before Hater was coming over, we were putting the fucking screws in and we put fucking eight holes in each side, right? We missed the step. <laughs> so like Hater's like, no, what the fuck happened, guys? <laughs> but like, it's crazy how like just like in a second, like in a minute, because you have the same like positive mindset. All right, yo, put some fucking tape on that shit. We went to buy a tablecloth that wasn't even good. Shout out to yeah. buy a tablecloth. But and like we just kept moving forward, and I think that's the biggest thing, especially about us. Like you said. Yeah, and that's it's a hundred percent. It's even like this. Like our third mic wasn't working, but then Fortunato was like, you know what? Let's let's just fucking film it. Let's just film it, and then we'll figure this out later. And that's what's so important, you know. Like yeah, things are gonna go bad. Shit's gonna happen, but. Don't stop, you know, we like we, we run into obstacles every fucking day and it's like, yo, just don't stop. Figure it out. Yeah, figure exactly. it out and move exactly. on. Keep and moving forward. Keep moving forward and don't let anything stop you. If your mic isn't working, if you're filming a video for YouTube and your mic isn't working, fuck it. Just film fucking the video. Film, film fucking Fortnite or Hobo, they're fucking freestyle style. Exactly. You're going to fuck with the vlog. Like I told Luke was telling me the other day, tell it, tell it, go, go ahead, go ahead. Wait, what is it again? I was, I was like filming, the, I was filming my vlog and he was like, how do you do it in one take? Because we started doing like yeah, three like, like, videos. He built this like, like I, because you become conscious to hearing your voice and you replay it again and you're like, oh my God, this is good. And you're recording yourself and you're like, wait, I sound weird. Why did I like yeah. mumble just at that word? <laughs> and then we start. And then fuck 15 that. minutes later, I'm, taking a 15 second video and taking it to the extreme and turning it into like a 15 minute like work like the videos that we put out there like it, like I feel like Fortunato has really like mastered them Not even I haven't good. mastered them yet <laughs> I have to repeat them like I don't know you repeated time. them how many times mm -hmm. I did it like six I, times I, I repeat them like uh, I think a million times and then I'm like ah, I delete them I'm like no okay this wasn't good this wasn't good and then I'm like oh, okay let me try something different like, then, the thing is it is good it's natural like people say they use like oh, I have an iPhone how am I supposed to make YouTube videos there you, you go iPhone you fuck know, it just you can make it. YouTube videos just, that's, that's an obstacle that you can overcome like a lot of time like there's some obstacles out there like when it comes to an obstacle with your health okay and like it's, it's a lot of people don't want to talk about it. when it comes to obstacles with your health that you're something like you're sick 
okay, it's an obstacle that you can't really sometimes overpass to the best of your capabilities. Right. So that's why we should reflect on ourselves. That's a big, that's a that's something big when you have a health problem. Yeah. That's one obstacle that you don't know if you're overpassing or not. Yeah. But even like for example, we'll say that like this one, Go ADHD. Ahead. Yeah. Something like I got it. Yeah. <laughs> I like, got it. You you could like. There's time. Okay, like today, I'm gonna say this out. Like on the, I'm gonna put this out. Yeah. Like I went to go see a counselor. Yeah. Because sure. the teacher told me. Well, he sent me. I didn't even tell me. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, he's fa he failed the first test. Like he needs help. Yeah. Like, you go. It didn't sound go. really good, but I was like, you know what? I feel really uncomfortable going, like going yeah. and see this lady. So I'm waiting. Forty minutes go by. She still hasn't called me. So forty minutes I go in, <clears> and it was like the most like. So you get an hour more. I get an hour more on my tests and stuff. So I mean. That's like, why not? You took the and day. I decided to do this really late because now it's my last semester. There you and go. I, I went through six, three years, and on the last year, I decided, oh, now I have balls, I'm yeah, gonna go. It is fucked, bro. Like it's crazy how we did, like how like these obstacles come. Like as I was saying, like with health, like, those are obstacles you can't pass. But like these small things like this, I understand that we think we can't pass. We should always reflect on the bigger things in life, mm -hmm. like what the big things can go yeah. on. Your health is so important. And for a lot of us out there, we don't fucking even have our health. So we should take for we take for granted how lucky we are not to have any health problems and to yeah. be able to fucking overcome these little obstacles. Yeah. In a way, you know what I'm trying to say? Exactly. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And like, like I said, like cheers I, to that. Cheers. There you go. Cheers to fucking cheers. that. Fucking ice water, baby. <laughs> there you go, man. But really, that was so fucking cheesy. I love that shit. No, but like, it's super important. And uh, yeah, obstacle. You're always gonna have obstacles in your life. Yeah. You need to overcome them. Yeah. If you don't overcome them, I swear to God, you're not gonna go anywhere. Yeah, and uh, exactly. yeah, like seriously, overcome your obstacles. Don't let anything get in your way. Don't let anybody get in your way. Big and uh, do what you love, man. And just uh, that's it. Fight through, move, get up. Exactly. And work on it. There you go. And, and when you, go you ahead. Can get fun. Yeah. Like the challenges you take. If you see them yeah, as exactly. a problem, if you see them as a problem, yeah, it's gonna be a problem. But if you see them as like fun, like oh shit, like okay, my girlfriend wants me to meet her at four. There you I go. have to finish work at. F 355, I have to go to the post office, I have to go, it's like, it becomes like, challenge, it's like, look challenge. at it as a, as a challenge yeah. instead of a problem. Exactly. If there's no challenges in your life, you're never going to have a full on reward. You're yeah. never going to feel like it's, you know, like, uh, fuck huge bro. Yeah. Like if you, if you don't have obstacles or challenges or failure in life, getting to where you are or, or achieving success will never feel as good. And that's the video. I, I don't know if you guys saw it. I put a video of Pippo. Uh, yeah, yeah, that one was really on, like, on Monday, and I always put it like once a month for my followers and for myself because I love to hear it. Mm -hmm. And he like he actually says in the video, he's like, if you all if you always win, uh, no, he's saying like if you never make mistakes, you'll never know what winning really is. Yeah, right? because yeah, exactly. make, like the biggest thing for me, like making a mistake, and then after like learning from the mistake, like and not trying to do it again, even if I do it again, but learning from it and not doing it again. And actually winning from it and actually like overcoming that mistake is like the biggest it, reward. It feels, it, it'll feel a million times better yeah. than if you just won straight up. Okay. And Fuck. it's just like, and it goes like into the same thing as I always talk about, like how, uh, how like, uh, how kids that are so fortunate that have rich parents there get them money, you know, they'll never know the value of money if they're always handed it. Exactly. Right? I was 14 years old and I had to work my ass there you to go. make money to go. not get paychecks because my go. boss didn't want to pay me. I know the value of money. That's you it. have to work hard for it. And I'm not saying you don't know the value of money, but I'm saying it's just, it's just like, you know, a point. Like, you'll never know the value of something until you go through the hard fucking times. Exactly. Until you face those challenges, those failures. There you like go. how our parents work so hard to fucking get into this country. You know, for us. Exactly. For our better life. Let's not know? fucking take it for granted now. Don't take it for granted. And it's like, it's those challenges, they were the most rewarding. And that's it. Uh, face your challenges. And uh, yeah, they're going to be super rewarding. Do not let failure bring you down. So, I think that's perfect for this podcast. Uh, actually, the next episode that I want to touch on, guys, is this self confidence because I feel like a lot of girls and guys actually hit me up and actually talk about that. They want to yeah, talk about that topic because self beauty and self like awareness of just like yourself and, and how you look is yeah. huge. 100%. And I I've dealt with it. So next episode, I really want to do that. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we're gonna end this here and we're gonna keep making different ones, uh, different clips. Uh, we just don't want to make them too long so that you guys you know enjoy. Uh, there you go. Enjoy the video. IGTV, so, baby. IGTV, there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll be back with a new episode very soon. Ciao. Ciao. Enjoy. <laughs>